All right, so now that we've got that users table, we want to start working on the admin area here in Aptana. And uh, at this point, our admin area is going to be pretty similar to our front end. We're going to take a lot of the resources that we're using on the front end and go ahead and use them in the admin as well. Um, so things like Bootstrap and jQuery, we need those. And um, pretty much every folder we have here uh, we'll be using in the admin as well. So really you can think of the admin as almost a second website. Um, usually when you're making a website like this, you're, you're going to have, you know, your front end is going to be one website and your, your back end is going to be another. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a folder in here. So right click on your project name. Do new and folder. And we're going to call this admin. And uh, really quick, I'll point out my uh, my project explorer here is going to look a little different than yours. I have version control running, and that's why you see a username and and timestamp and stuff. So don't be concerned that I've got that and these little icons here. Uh, this all has to do with the version control. So now that we've got admin, let's go ahead and we need an index.php. So we'll right click on admin, choose new, file, and then index.php. And while we've got this one open, let's go ahead and open our front end one. And we can go ahead and split the screen. So drag this over here if you want. So you can see both of them. And uh, let's go ahead and let's just copy everything from here at this point. And then paste it here. And then we can go ahead and close this one. Make sure you're closing the front end one and not the admin one. Um, go ahead and save. Now if we go to the browser and try and look at this, it's going to get a little grouchy with us. So you put in, uh, just type in admin slash after your Adam CMS, or slash admin, anyway. Um, but see, we've got a bunch of errors and warnings. Uh, it's because we're missing a lot of the includes and such. So let's hop back to Aptana. Um, we could either go in one by one and recreate these files like we just did with the index, um, or we can really copy and paste. And that's part of the reason why I decided we, we'd hop over to the admin um, at this point, because we're at a point where the, the front end is, is still generic enough that we can really easily copy everything and move it into the admin before we start really customizing the, the front end. So let's just go ahead and do that. So select all of these folders from config down to widgets. Uh, and if you don't know how to do that, click on config and then hold down shift and then click on widgets and you can either do a control C for copy or right click and choose copy and then right click on admin and choose paste so there you go we've got all of our files here and uh, we'll need to customize some of these um, but uh, so far, I'm pretty sure that we're going to use the majority of these. So let's go ahead and hop in to the browser and refresh. And there you go. Now, one thing I know right off the bat is uh, with the uh, admin, I'd actually like this to go full screen. Um, sometimes cosmetically, it's nice to do things in the center and kind of limit it. Uh, Right now, this is pretty much the size of a standard laptop screen. So anything laptop and above should be able to fit this in the screen without any issues. Um, but for the admin panel, I'm, I'm less as concerned about the aesthetics as I am about being able to fit the uh, stuff that we need in here, like the tools and stuff. So let's really quick hop into Aptana. 
let's go ahead and open up template and I'll show you something neat about Aptana because this could get confusing um, having all these folders in here kind of twice um, or just at least messy and one thing I do is I actually create an entire new project for admin I actually keep them when they go to the when they go to the server when I'm uploading once I get to that point um, it's still going into the admin folder off the root but I just create an, uh, its own project so I can kind of minimize the public end and then open up the admin and such. But uh, I don't want to do that right now because I can get confusing. So what you can do though is if you right click on admin you can choose go into. And then now see so you're up here you're in the admin folder and it, and it cleared out all that public end stuff. And if you want to go back it's, it's kind of like the Windows Explorer. You can hit the back arrow and come back. Uh, or you can go forward and get back into admin. So we'll keep things like this for the moment. So let's go ahead and open up navigation.php. So in order to make this full screen, uh, we want to take out the container. So we'll take this div out. And there you go. Now if I save this, we're going to notice we've got a slight issue here with the debug button. It's actually getting covered up. So since our, our navigation starts over here, we might as well go ahead and shove our, our debug button over to the right. So we can go into config and open up the css.php. And for button debug, we've got position absolute, but we can actually put some properties in here. And let's go ahead and do right five pixels. So what this will do is actually take it over to the right side and then back five pixels. So there, now it's over there on the right. So now we have the content as well. So let's go back to Aptana. Let's open up index.php and we want to go ahead and take out the container in here as well. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and take out our uh, entire container area here from 23 to 29 because we're not going to be pulling page information at the moment. So get rid of that, save it, and uh, just put in uh, a generic uh, heading one and we'll just say admin dashboard. This will be kind of our home page here. Save that and refresh the browser and there you go so let's also let's go back to navigation.php and uh, let's go ahead and comment out this nav underscore main um, I say comment it out because we might still use that later um, rewrite it a little bit but we are actually not going to be using our pages table for this back here yet so let's go ahead and just kind of hard code in some links so we have our home or dashboard and uh, we'll just make some generic links that uh, are pretty common so pages and we'll kind of mimic the uh, database here we know we want to be able to edit pages we also know we want to edit users and then we also have our settings Go ahead and save that. Refresh. There you go. Now the last thing is our footer. So we need to, in the template folder, open up footer.php and go ahead and take out that container there as well. So line three and five. Save that, refresh, there you go.